the most exciting man in mixed martial arts today. My fantasy football team is Team Gaethje. Justin Gaethje, since signing with the UFC a few years ago, has absolutely taken this promotion by storm. And he's only in main events. He's only in main events because you know, when you put Justin Gaethje at the top of the marquee, people will show up to watch in the arena, but they will also tune in on their television sets, on their computers, their laptops, on your PS4 or your Xbox, regardless of the console, people will show up to watch Justin Gaethje fight. All action fighter, has great wrestling, but it's his boxing and his leg kicks that has truly made him special to fight fans all around the world. Well, in a division as talented as 155 pounds, it is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, he'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight in Vegas. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Both fighters are 31. Gaethje is two inches taller. Poirier will have the two inch reach advantage. How about some Bruce Buffer? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world introducing first fighting out of the blue corner this man is a kickboxer holding a professional record of 24 wins four losses he stands five feet 11 inches tall weighing in at 155 pounds presenting the challenger justin the highlight gage and now introducing the champion Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 29 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Justin the Diamond Poirier! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch gloves. Truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground. They want to strike. Today. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Lands a big right hand early. What a fight we got going on here. Lands a big right hand early. Just out of range with that right hook. defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. And 
now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Boy, tie plump. That knee might have landed there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh! Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Oh! So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Justin Gage. Gage, he's got the tie clinch now. Effective punch there by Poirier. All right, so the former interim lightweight champ, Dustin Poirier, in a good striking flow here tonight, DC. That left hand nearly put his opponent out. Nearly puts them out, and you can't take many of them. Dustin's so big and physically strong for 155, I can't believe he used to fight at featherweight. It looks like he could never have made that weight. He's found his home at like... Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Poirier goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. Massive knee to the body land. And now he's got that tie clinch. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. A lot of knees, a lot of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John Anik is a encyclopedia of the... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now. He's got to to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Huge elbow there. What is that? Oh! Oh, good man. Good man, John. He's got a pressure. He's out! He's that finish. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So, a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at one minute, seven seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new USC lightweight champion of the world, Justin the Highlight Gaethje. Well, tears of joy and hard to blame him. We have a new UFC lightweight champion. The celebration is on. and. A life's mission comes to a head tonight as he gets it done. He knew he was going to get it done. He told us all he would get it done. I am the best fighter in the world. It is just a matter of time until I get the belt.